Well, hello, beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video if you're new here. Hi, hello, my name is Eric Ashley. I like to upload three videos a week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and on Thursdays. So if you enjoy project panning, deck of panning, eyeshadow tutorials, throwback eyeshadow tutorials, makeup hauls, reviews, all the fun stuff, and makeup and beauty, then I'd love for you to hit that thumbs up and subscribe before I go. Also, turn on the notifications so you are aware of all my future uploads. Now, today we are doing my update number three for April for my deck of panning series. This is my first project that I did on my channel, and I absolutely love this one. The creator is Emily from Emily and Max, and let's go ahead and see my updates. So if you're interested in my updates for this project, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, see my beautiful friends. Let me get my notebook. I am totally unprepared. But... If you are interested in what's on my eyes, I created a series on my channel for Throwback Thursday. This is the palette that is on my eyes, a Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Friendcation Palette. And this one will is supposed to go up on or around the 21st, but the 21st is a Thursday and I wanted to put my Throwback Thursday eyeshadow palette video up so you'll be seeing this one on Friday. So this will be listed, this video will be linked down below and probably in the pinned comment as well. But this is what I have on my eyes in case you are interested and along with the swatches. All right, team, so I have my notebook. So in January when this video went live, I only had one product left, which was a six of diamonds at the time, A to Z brand, so I did a T. I randomized the T and I did the Tarte Tarte Guard and it took me 16 uses to get this far. This looks like a tiny little muffin. There is a little bit more in here but I'm just going to go ahead and call this done. I have one more use but I don't want to keep it for another month and you know I did cut it open so it's probably going to dry out so I will use it tomorrow and I'm just going to go ahead and roll this baby out. So we only have one roll out this month, which is this one. I will go ahead and go through my updates and then draw a new card at the very end. So that was from January, February. I hit my goal on. And now March, I had, um, it said this time last year, which, which was a six of hearts, I picked out. Last March, I purchased the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in... CN52 neutral and my goal was 15 uses. I've only used this three times. Since March I have incorporated, or since February actually, I've incorporated a lot of other projects going on on my channel which I absolutely love. So this one I might not be hitting the goals as quickly as I did previously but it is still so much fun to me and I do love and adore this project and I really want to thank Emily for taking the time to create it and every month the deck is shuffled so if you if I do draw a six of hearts it will not be the same guy actually I drew six of hearts in January and in March and it was not the same thing so we have 12 more uses for this guy um I don't want makeup every day so I do enjoy this one it is very matte and it is very full coverage to me but I I, in, I am enjoying it, and I do have some other projects going on with foundation, so I need to kind of <laughs> behave myself. <laughs> and then next was, uh, that I drew was Ace of Hearts. It was Pick Your Own Space, and I did a cream. I challenged myself, and I did 15 uses for the Elf Putty Blush in Bali, and unfortunately, I only use this once. I thought I used this twice, but I think I only use this once. I only marked it down for one, so that's what it's going to do. So I have 14 more uses to go on this guy. And I just forget to use this because do you use it before your foundation or do you use it after your foundation? Please let me know how you use cream blushes because creams are new to me. That's why I wanted to put it into this project. So I need to start working on this project. Definitely. Next, I drew Ace of Clubs. It was at a project, so I drew the K, which was the newest product. And at that time, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale was going on, and I purchased the Tarte Maracuja Lip Plumping, and this is in the shade Grapefruit. I did 10 uses. I have used this four times, and I do really love this. Um, this is a grapefruit. I obviously said that, but where, where can I put you? It does juice up the lips and I pair it with, um, from another project, I pair it with this lip 
pencil and those are beautiful together so I just outlined my lips and I put this on and it does look very plumping it is kind of sticky but it's not grossly sticky it's kind of thick but it's not grossly thick either so I do love this one and this was a recommendation from Andrea Matilia and all this why I picked it up and I did pick up four other shades I have my <laughs> Ulta 21 days of beauty haul and I will leave that link down below that is going up tomorrow when I am filming but so I need six more uses out of this beautiful beautiful lip product and then I drew the nine of hearts which was my most expensive and this was gifted to me by my mother it is the Natasha Denona Lil <laughs> it is the Natasha Denona Lila palette and unfortunately I have not used this I don't know why I'm scared to use it it's so beautiful um I will have this used, I don't know about the 10 times, but I definitely will have this used by my May update. Man, that just sounds so far away. <laughs> but I do have plans to film a look with this and I do want to wear it. Um, sometimes if I feel like if I just go out for a bit and come home, I don't want to use an expensive palette. That's just kind of what I need to like get over, you know what I mean? So, and especially I don't want to use a new palette if I'm not going to be out and about. So I haven't really gone to too many places where I'm out for long periods of time to show this beautiful baby off and that's just kind of how my crazy head works <laughs> but so no uses on this guy and my goal was 10 uses next was a six of spades it was social media pics and they picked this wet and wild gold highlighting bar and I have used this seven times and my goal was 15 so definitely by next month this will be rolled out so one for sure roll out next month That's good. <laughs> and then last I drew the King of Hearts, which was the oldest product, and it is my MAC Mineralizing Glass in Lovely Yours, Lovingly Yours. And my goal was to use this up. I may change it because I'm going to leave it in here for a little bit. You can see it marked right here, but when I marked it last time, it wasn't completely settled, so the marking was underneath of what it really was so I'm reluctant to mark it because it, I do keep this in my purse so I can use it often but I have used this nine times so that is wonderful so I might depending on how much I use it I might put it at a 20 use goal I'm not too sure I would love to use this up eventually because it is an older lip gloss it still works perfectly it doesn't stink um it doesn't taste nasty but you know I don't wear lip products every day I need to maybe I need to start <laughs> so that is all my progress I'm gonna leave this on my desk I'm gonna darken that mark so I did go ahead and mark the use that it is right now it is not completely settled but that's how it was last time next time I will have it completely settled and I will see my progress on that so I mean a gloss that I use nine times that's pretty good for a whole month um Maybe I'll leave this in here. We will see how the other products are. I don't want to keep having the same ones in here. I kind of want to, you know, rotate through my collection. But so we are doing away with this because I did cut it open and we are going to draw one more card. So these are the ones that I had previously. I'm going to go ahead and put them back in the box. There is one Joker and I have not got that. But I really hope that I don't get that. And some people draw from the top. I don't know. I think I'm going to kind of... Maybe I should go like this and see what I draw instead of drawing from the top. Who knows? I've seen people do that as well. So maybe I'll do that because I'm only drawing, I'm only bringing in one new card. One more shuffle and then I will pull up the game board. Alrighty, game board, game board is up. I will post it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and draw from the middle. Ho, ho, ho. Ten of hearts. Alrighty. Last time I was getting a bunch of face cards. And those do not change. But the other card, the number cards do. So, ten of hearts is... I don't even know how to say that. Oh, I am in 
the friends one. <laughs> um, Ten of Hearts is already has pan. So let me rummage through my stuff and see what has pan, and I will be right back. Alrighty, I am back, and I do not have a lot of things that I hit pan in. Um, I do have this Z palette, but I can't find it. Okay, like I said, I don't have a lot of things that I hit pan on. I recently hit pan on this, but you see that little pan? But it is in my original makeup project for 2022, so I don't want to put that in there. This has pan, but that's in that project as well. This has pan, but I put it in my project pan last year, and I absolutely hated it. Maybe I'll put that in there. It's just... It's just too light for me. Like, you can't even see that. It, is, it blends in with my skin, so it's not a bronzer for me. I do have an older e.l.f. eyebrow kit, but since I have that in my project pen, um, I don't want to put another one in there. I have this cream product, but, you know, that pan is used up, so it's, these don't have pans. So I don't know if that would work. So I'm going to pick... The only eyeshadow that I have pan in is Original Urban Decay Eyeshadow Palette, and this is an old one. This is has pan right there, and I actually I would use this all the time in my mom with my mom, and she was actually just she gave it to me. She's like, here you use it all the time. I think it's like my first eyeshadow palette. It was like everyone's first eyeshadow palette. But um, I do have pan in this one. And the other one's just a Z, a Z palette. I don't even know where the hell that one is. I can't find it. Um, so we are going to do 10 uses on this guy. And I haven't used this in quite some time. You know, this is all a nostalgia. This is no longer available to buy. You know, it does have the felt. I do have a feeling that they will be bringing this back, kind of relaunching it, revamping it. The brush, I kept that brush in there. It's not even, it's not even the Urban Decay brush. So we're going to do 10 uses for this guy. It's powder. It's going to work okay. So that is my roll-in. It was hard for me. Like, I have a lot of makeup, but I don't hit pan on a lot of things. Um... I think I'm always scared to hit pan because I'm like, I don't want to waste it. But you, you use the same things and it's some things are really never ending. So this is going in for 10 uses for products I already have pan in. I can't wait to see everyone's updates. You will be seeing this Friday because I do have already a Thursday video planned, as I said in the intro. But let me know down below how you're doing in your projects. I can't wait to see everyone's third update for the month of April and I am really enjoying this project. I maybe wish I had one more rollout but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I do have two eyeshadow palettes and two lip products in this project so we shall see but both are 10 uses so um, and we're gonna see maybe I'll do maybe you'll see this in a throwback Thursday eyeshadow palette. I probably will do that. Definitely. Definitely stay tuned for that video and a sneak peek of all the few things that I have pan in. <laughs> but thank you my wonderful beautiful friends for joining me in this video today. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe before you go. I love you all so 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 much and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye guys. Stay safe.